At any moment, hundreds of miles above Earth, two groundbreaking spacecraft orbit in silence. The United States Space Force X-37B executes classified maneuvers while remaining undetected for months at a time. Half a world away, Chinese aerospace engineers monitor their response. Shenlong, an orbital vehicle designed to match American capabilities. Between them, a new form of technological competition unfolds in the void of space. The X-37B now prepares for its most ambitious demonstration yet, a series of precise orbital shifts using atmospheric resistance as a natural break. This aero-breaking technique allows the spacecraft to change position rapidly while conserving fuel, a capability that transforms theoretical orbital mechanics into practical military advantage. But China isn't sitting back. Its Shenlong program is working hard to match what the X-37B is aiming to achieve. Events are quickly accelerating towards an unprecedented result, orbital warfare. It all kicked off in 1999 with a unique NASA project that sought to create an orbital unmanned vehicle that could act as a reusable space plane. In a time when most space rockets and vehicles were partially lost after every mission, this goal was revolutionary. The idea was that this vehicle should be capable of finding and reaching satellites, repairing them, and returning to Earth. Boeing's secretive experimental division, the Phantom Works, took on the challenge, creating the craft's aerodynamic design and pulling inspiration from the much larger Space Shuttle Orbiter. At first, the X-37 was just a research vehicle dedicated to advanced space exploration. However, the technology took a hard turn into a more warfare-oriented project when it was transferred from NASA to DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Suddenly, the X-37 became a classified military asset. And from then on, things became more secretive with every passing year. Recently, the spacecraft evolved into the X-37B, a version operated by the U.S. Space Force and the Department of the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office. Officially, it's just a reusable space test platform designed to push the limits of autonomous flight, test cutting-edge spacecraft technologies, and conduct orbital experiments. However, the classified nature of all the missions and experiments the ship participates in, and the lack of transparent reports on future developments, suggests there might be bigger plans ahead for Boeing spacecraft and any technology derived from it. Also hinting at missions beyond conventional science research is the increasing length of each deployment, which recently lasted nearly three years in orbit. The Space Force has avoided providing specific details, besides claiming the experimental ship is being used to test avionics, thermal protection systems, and propulsion technologies. The X-37B, while currently unarmed, still has some impressive technology. It is allegedly equipped with hail effect thrusters for advanced propulsion in space. It also has some of the most cutting-edge avionics, guidance systems, and thermal protection systems, composed of plates of silica ceramic tiles. These features bestow it with remarkable navigation control and allow for safe re-entry. Once within the Earth's atmosphere, the space plane has automatic landing capabilities. Avionics, guidance, navigation, and re-entry systems can sound like routine space exploration development. But there's a reason this space plane has caught the attention of skeptics and conspiracy theorists. Officially, the U.S. Air Force has declared the X-37B to be, quote, an experimental test program to demonstrate technologies for a reliable, reusable, uncrewed space test platform. However, in May 2010, Tom Burgart, a writer focused on counterintelligence, suggested that the X-37B could be more than just a tech demonstrator, speculating that it might be a spy satellite or even a space-based weapons platform. The Pentagon dismissed this idea, but that only fueled more speculation. Instead of dying down, the rumors and intriguing information surrounding the spacecraft continued to grow. By January 2012, Chinese authorities claimed the X-37B was shadowing China's Tiangong-1 space module. The U.S. was being accused of orbital espionage. However juicy, the story quickly lost traction after former Air Force orbital analyst Brian Whedon shot it down, 
saying the two craft were in entirely different orbits. But just the thought of it gave the X-37B an almost mythical status. The theories didn't stop there. In 2014, some experts hinted that the X-37B was carrying out tests on advanced spy sensors, raising more questions as to whether this ship was being used to spy on other nations. Then, in 2016, rumors claimed that an M-Drive was being tested on the X-37B. This cutting-edge, reactionless propulsion system is so advanced that it almost delves into sci-fi territory. Boeing later said they weren't pursuing it, but the whispers were already out there by then. The Air Force, predictably vague, mentioned a hail-effect thruster instead, another state-of-the-art space propulsion system. Even high-ranking officers couldn't resist adding to the mystery. In 2019, former Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson hinted that the X-37B, in its elliptical orbit, could dip into the atmosphere at perigree to make a concealed orbit change, essentially pulling a vanishing act. Such maneuvers would allow the ship to move swiftly from one orbit to another and pop in and out from view of any possible adversaries. The U.S. Space Force just unveiled that its experimental space plane is gearing up for new maneuvers involving something called aero braking as part of a move to shed its service module, a mission-specific compartment that has to be eliminated before re-entry. Dropping the service module from low orbit is much safer for Earth's populations than doing it from higher orbits. However, these maneuvers are not limited to module disposal, and they could signal more than just routine space experiments. Aerobraking, which uses Earth's atmosphere to slow a spacecraft and tweak its orbit, lets the X-37B drop to a lower orbit without burning fuel. It's like using the atmosphere as a brake in a controlled, spiraling descent. The result is an efficient way of changing orbits. However, the potential military uses of the X-37B's aerobraking are catching attention. U.S. Space Command has emphasized the need for what they call dynamic space operations. The idea is for the space plane to execute extended maneuvers without burning through its fuel, making it capable of outmaneuvering or chasing down enemy satellites, evaluating threats, and possibly even neutralizing them. The X-37B's ability to perform these feats lines up with that mission, priming the space plane and all future iterations as essential tools in future orbital warfare. So far, Official statements have stopped short of openly discussing any combat-related plans for the spacecraft, but speculation around its true purpose isn't going away anytime soon. The theory arguing that the X-37B is actually the test platform for future combat spacecraft continues to grow, especially after October 2023, when the Space Force released a painting depicting a futuristic intercept vehicle preparing to engage an enemy satellite. Although the painting was described as purely imaginative, it did little to quell suspicions. The novel aerobraking maneuvers add another twist to the story of the X-37B. By enabling the spacecraft to move from a high Earth orbit, or HEO, to a more stable low Earth orbit, or LEO, the space plane can release its service module at a low enough altitude for it to burn up in the atmosphere in a controlled trajectory. What's even more intriguing is how this ability makes tracking the X-37B a real challenge for potential adversaries. Its ability to virtually disappear from one orbit and appear in another gives the space plane an unpredictable edge that could prove crucial in a possible space dogfight. This level of agility might give it a huge advantage in any future conflicts in orbit. Space Force's Delta IX unit is now responsible for overseeing the X-37B's operations. Delta IX's mission statement is clear, quote, protect and defend operations and provide national decision makers with options to deter or defeat orbital threats. When working under that philosophy, arguing that the X-37B has no military applications is hard. Seen through this lens, the ability to perform rapid, low-cost maneuvers like aerobraking might be the key to getting close to adversary satellites, whether to inspect, intercept, or even disable them. America's greatest military rival, China, is not idle, as the U.S. Space Force develops the most advanced space plane known to humankind, especially regarding alarming possible combat capabilities.
China has responded to the X-37B by developing its own reusable space plane named Shenlong. This is a smaller and less technologically advanced space vehicle. However, its development is much more recent, and it has made some accelerated strides toward becoming a real competitor for the X-37B. The pieces seem to be slowly falling into place for what, even until very recently, belonged to the realm of science fiction, orbital warfare.